Well, good morning and welcome to our morning prayer today. Good to be with you. I hope you've had a good weekend. Shall we take a moment to quiet as we come into God's presence? O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And so the night has passed and the day lies open before us. So now let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you. Now and forever. I wonder what your reaction is when your phone rings, an actual person. I know for many of the uh, phone rings, it often creates a little bit of panic. Uh, we're not quite used to uh, the phone actually ringing to someone calling us. Uh, is it a cold call? And then when you think you recognize who it is, you start to make a few assumptions. Why are they calling? Often, none of them good because, well, they'd only be calling in an emergency. Who's calling me? What do they want? Why don't they just text? All thoughts that go through our minds when we hear the phone ring. But when we begin a relationship with Jesus, we're called with a holy calling. A whole completely different way of being called. Said before, in these morning prayers that God has a purpose for our lives. It's not based on our efforts, but on Jesus' grace. So when God calls, how do you react? Some of you joined us last night uh, for our first Christianity Explored course, which Richard and Leanne are running. And it goes through the gospel of Mark. It's still time to join us tonight, actually, if you haven't yet and you'd like to. Uh, but uh, just a little plug there. Uh, but it goes through the gospel of Mark. And so each day this week, uh, Richard has asked if we can uh, look at the passages that you would normally be looking at uh, week on week, because we're doing it in a week, every night for, for one week. Um, it's going to make doing some of the kind of pre-course work. Uh, we don't like to call it homework. Uh, but the pre-course work a bit more difficult if people haven't got time each day. So we said we'd look at some of those and pick out some of those things that Mark is revealing in his gospel. We found out last night that gospel literally means good news. So this week we want to share a little bit of that good news with you. And it starts with callings. Calling a fisherman, but it ends with God's calling of grace to you and I. Mark 1, 9 to 20. 
At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once a Spirit sent him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals and angels attended him. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God is near. Come and repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me. Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Then when he'd gone a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Just as a little aside, um, when uh, the Spirit comes down from heaven, this is my son with whom I'm well pleased. It just reminds me of the way that the youth talk, well pleased, well into it. Anyway, uh, the good news is that Jesus, each person who turns and follows Jesus has the assurance that their life has purpose and meaning. The good news is that each person who turns and follows Jesus has the assurance that their life has purpose and meaning. We are called with a holy calling. Isn't that amazing? We are called with a holy calling. God calls you and I to live for Christ and to make him known. Is that calling? Each day we set out to live a holy life. But not by our efforts, but by our surrender to God. See, when we strive to be holy, when we try and do all the right things, then it becomes another form of legalism. But when we submit to the Lord and ask him to guide us, we walk under the power of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was baptised, a voice came from heaven, You are my son whom I love, with you I am well pleased. See, Jesus began his ministry with a holy calling. And that's the same for each of us at our baptism. We begin that journey of faith, that holy calling, be that as a child or as an adult. That journey of faith, that resting of the Spirit upon us. Now for Jesus, the Spirit then led him out into the wilderness. But on his return, Jesus came and preached a calling of repentance and belief in the good news. The kingdom of God is near. And then this idea of calling continues. Without delay, he called the disciples and they followed him. See, I don't know what's more amazing that Jesus called fishermen or that they put down everything and followed him they heard a call immediately they followed but actually they were called to follow but then to lead and proclaim the good news themselves see and that's the second part of our holy calling to make Jesus known to those in our lives who don't know him Perhaps at the moment you're unsure. You're not quite there yet in your own faith. But I can assure you that when you hear that calling, when you step out for Jesus, when you accept him into your heart, there can be no better calling in your life. And because of that, we want to share that good news, that gospel, 
with, e with others, with those who've not yet heard, because with God in our lives, anything seems so much easier and better. That doesn't mean that it is easy, but we know that God is walking beside us. We know that God has it in hand. And when life's troubles are thrown at us, we're not dealing with it ourselves. We're dealing with it with God at our side. Now, another barrier to hearing at that calling is to think that we're not good enough. To think that, how can we allow God in? Because we're so bad inside. But you see, the wonderful thing about grace is that we're not called as perfect people. We're called flaws and all. And it's through God's grace, through Jesus in our lives, that slowly changes us and molds us to be the people that we were created to be. See, we're called in all our sinfulness. And because of that, when Jesus comes in, we are forgiven children. We are forgiven children of God. And we know that Jesus wants us to have life in all its fullness. See, that's the wonderful thing about Jesus' grace. And about this holy calling. We're not called because we're talented or special but because of Jesus' grace. See, we can impress others with our knowledge and our talents, but that doesn't impress God. Paul tells us in Philippians that those are like filthy rags to God. We're called solely based on the grace of Jesus. And that happened before time began. Everything we have in Christ is through grace. It's a gift that is freely given that we can openly accept in our hearts and will lead us to life in all its fullness. You see, that really is good news. Amen. So as we finish this morning, I'm going to finish with a simple prayer and then you might wish to join me with the words of the Lord's Prayer. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world through that grace that we can accept in our lives, grant that by faith in him, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, I come with some exciting news this morning. Uh, this uh, morning we've launched our campaign for two new roles. Uh, well, not two new roles, but two uh, job roles in St Anne's, uh, our youth worker and our children's worker. So uh, we are open to uh, invitations for applications to that. Uh, and we'll be re uh, interviewing towards the end of April. So if you think you've got the skill set to come and be either the youth worker or the children's worker at St Anne's, then please do get in touch with me. Um, if not, but you might know some people, pass it on. Do share it on your Facebook, both the, uh, the adverts. That would be great so that we can get as many people seeing that as possible. Um, St Anne's is really committed to its children's and youth and family uh, outreach and we want to continue uh, the good work that both Rachel's have begun. 
So, uh, yeah, a youth worker and a children's worker role out live today. Uh, let's get the word out. Uh, free tickets are still available for Easter Sunday on Eventbrite. Please do get those booked in. Uh, we've still got our Christianity Explored running this tonight. That's running every evening for uh, this week. If you'd like to join in, then you're still welcome to. Uh, and you can join that tonight by emailing us for the link. I think that's about it for now. Hope you have a good day. Uh, it's been really nice spending a bit of time with you this morning. Uh, I've got to go out for a run now. We're, we're, we've started running club again. Um, so uh, we're, we're on week four of Character 5K. So uh, we're going out for a quick run now. But um, yeah, hope what you're doing is more fun than that. For now, the final blessing. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Hope you have a really good day. Take care.